Hi guys, welcome back. This is our second lesson of our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, I will show you how to create these uh, logos. We have Dell logo, FedEx and Akia logo. These logos we will create with the basic text and uh, shapes. So let's get started. I have uh, three logos here and uh, our page is uh, letter size. As you can see that it is a default size. Let's move these uh, three elements to the side here. And uh, we will start from the first one here we have a Dell logo let's create shape we will go to the ellipse tool you can see that here we have ellipse tool click on ellipse tool and uh, draw a circular shape click and drag your mouse and press control key perfectly it will be proportionally this way so here we have a circle shape now we are going to add the line weight here we can add the line size now it is a black outline uh, we can add here maybe 8 or more ok 12 so this is uh, enough and here we have a color this color uh, we need to find in our palettes so let's bring this palette out from this you can see that there is a small dotted area you can bring the mouse here once you see this uh, uh, double headed arrow plus sign you can click and drag inside and uh, here we have palette so this is now easy we can expand it from the corner so you can see whole uh, palette so we can select our desired color here we have a dark color circular shape it is selected I can right click right click on this so the color goes to the outline now we need to add the text inside Dell so here we have in our toolbox this is a text tool Okay, Coral Draw Text Tool. If I will click on this small black arrow, we will get the additional tool. But right now, we need only text, so we'll just click it. And uh, this tool is active. Uh, simply click in your page. Don't click and drag because uh, if you will click and drag the mouse, Coral Draw will create a text box. So we don't need text box, we need open type text. So just click it. And you can see that we have a cursor here. From the keyboard, you can type Dell make sure the cap lock is on so we can type in capital letter D E double L okay so this is how we have text to edit this text if you want to resize or if you want to change the font style there is a two way you can select the text this way or you can click on the pick tool once the text is selected with the pick tool still you can change the font style and font size so let's change the font size here and also you can change the font size by transforming the text from the corner you can see that this way you can do also let's change the font uh, style to Arial black so this is how we have a text here but as you can see that in the Dell logo E is rotated this way so uh, here we cannot do anything because uh, this is uh, a group text so Coral Draw is having option that we can break this text into part okay so once the text is selected what we can do we can go to the object click on break artistic text so click on this option there is a shortcut also control K from the keyboard you can press so once I will click this you can see that now we have individual transform box around this and letter by letter I can select this text so that's easy this is uh, allowing us to rotate or transform or resize uh, specific letters so I will click on the E and you can see that only E is selected if I want to rotate I can zoom it scroll your mouse up this way you can zoom I can click in the middle so you can see that here we have skew control and rotate control around this letter so I will bring the mouse to the corner see that this is a bent arrow and click and drag simply click and drag so you can see that this how uh, the letter we rotated so click outside to deselect and that's it now uh, our Dell logo is ready we need to bring this text inside here so select whole text since it is in part we can group it okay select it like this drag the window around the text and go to the object and here we have option group okay group and then click on group object we can select with single click and move it inside this way this is the color we have given in our shape so I will click once again 
so you can see that our logo it is uh, ready this is uh, Dell logo now let's move to the next we have here this uh, FedEx logo now we are going to create this so simply type uh, text go to the text tool click and type text D and then uh, by pressing shift key I can type E and X is small that's it so here we have text we can transform from the corner this way so if I want I can select the text this way and I can change the font like this or I can click on the pick tool and then I can change here we have uh, now text click on the pick tool and as you can see that if you will observe this text uh, there is no spacing in the letters here but here we have spacing so what we can do there is another way you might be thinking that we will again break it uh, still we can do that but uh, there is a more handy and easy way you can select the text okay and go to the shape tool the second okay here we have a shape tool under pick tool you can click it and you can see the text is having two arrow one is uh, directed down and one is directed to the right side so if you have more line multiple line text you can increase and reduce the line spacing here and you can increase and reduce the letter spacing here so if I will click on this arrow and bring it back as you can see it's now closed and this is what exactly we want but here E it's really attached with the D um, if I will bring it back more somehow it's okay but uh, since we need to change our uh, font color also uh, it's a good idea to uh, break this text I just show you this trick how to reduce the spacing among individual letters so now click on the pick tool and object break text apart or press ctrl k now we can select these two letters e and x and use arrow key okay so this is how we attach in these two letters we have color orange so we can select orange color select drag window around this three letter this way you can select or if you want you can select one by one click shift key to add so this is how uh, three of them selected we are going to add blue color here we have and that's all now here we have a FedEx logo now the next uh, logo we have here Akia logo okay we are going to create with the shape and text uh, this text uh, font you might uh, not have in your computer whatever font similar you have you can use uh, uh, for the practice purpose here we have an oval shape uh, that is a ellipse and there is a also a rectangular shape we will use a rectangle tool click here rectangle tool and click on drag simply click on drag to create rectangular box and uh, that's all now here we are going to add color so same thing this color the one we have given here we can add and outline remember guys uh, always you need to check your outline because it doesn't appear uh, here in the screen but once you will print it will be really obvious so you really need to remove outline right click so we don't have outline now we are going to add a simple oval shape here so we'll use the ellipse tool and start from this corner from corner here click and drag this way just like this and uh, we are going to add color right click to remove outline and left side click to fill inside color so you can see that here we have we can zoom it and a little bit uh, more precisely we can adjust this way okay in our coming lesson we will be learning more about a shape adjust the shape but right now since it is a very basic lesson so we don't need to go in that click outside and we have here this way now we are going to type the text so click on the text tool and type IKEA make sure the cap lock is on so you can type in capital letter so here we have text from the corner we can resize and bring it here click on pick tool and here I have one font uh, Franklin Gothic 
this font I am going to apply but uh, any similar font you have in your computer for practice purpose you can uh, apply so here we have now I can stretch little bit vertically okay and uh, bring it inside hold it from the corner and uh, give your desired size according to the ellipse pick tool and click on the color that you want to fill so left click to color the text so now we have three elements uh, if I will move this logo you can see that the object it's moved uh, it is because it's not group control Z we can select all of them this way and go to the object and click on group simply click on group object so here we have one object as you can see so that's all we can bring back our palette here simple and easy uh, to create something in Corel draw okay so practice this exercise and try to create these three logos the same way take a letter size page and uh, create guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you